All at once there was a stirring in the crowd and a murmur rose up. It's the Queen. The Queen is coming. Oscar-winning actor Jim Broadbent lends his voice to the latest adventure of one of Britain's best-loved bears. Winnie the Pooh and the Royal Birthday tells the story of the character's encounter with the Queen as Her Majesty and Pooh share a milestone birthday. It's a lovely story. It's, I mean, it celebrates the Queen's 90th birthday and it also celebrates Pooh's 90th birthday. Because there's such a wit and a style to the stories that adults enjoy reading them to to children, so I think that's what sustains it probably, and the children love them and then they love them and want to pass them on to the next generation and they carry on. The Queen's links to Winnie the Pooh go back many years to when Elizabeth was a young princess. In 1926, Milne dedicated Teddy Bear and other songs from when we were very young to Princess Elizabeth. Um, we also know that the Duke and Duchess of York were um, presented with a tea service that featured um, images of Christopher Robin and we're told that um, the Queen is a, a big fan of Winnie the Pooh. You could tell Christopher Robin had something important to say. From the to celebrate both special birthdays, the illustrated and audio versions of Winnie the Pooh and the Royal Birthday are online now to download for free. And so he was sure it had been. Lift off. If you don't represent women in politics,